my ex at the beginning said, I hope this doesn't become a trauma bond. Woo, red flag or early warning. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely a huge red flag. He's like, oh, I hope, I hope this one doesn't turn out to be a trauma bond. Oops. You know, yeah. Uh, a lot of times that's, that's crazy. Is it common that being with a narcissist can cause you panic attacks? hundred uh, percent. I caused a ton of panic attacks to my wife. I didn't believe in them. I didn't believe that they were real. Like I accused her of her just being dramatic, but the panic attacks that she had were from me, from how I was treating her, of how I was showing up. Okay. So yeah, that is, that is very common. I have a sibling who is a narcissist. Would it help if I hired a private detective to get proof to show her the truth? Personally, I would not waste my time. Okay. My boyfriend blocked me for a week. Every time we fight, he blocked me and I was sick of being in the unknown. So I reached out and now he's broken up with me. I'm distraught. I'm meeting with him tomorrow. I'm scared. I'm going to beg. He's probably trained you to do that. And if he's playing like the block and unblock game, like he's just messing with you. Okay. He, he's literally just using you. So you need to be able to understand, like if it's going back and forth like this, like he's not actually helping. He broke with me Friday and I saw, saw with a girl yesterday. Okay. So if you saw him with a girl yesterday, like don't meet with him tomorrow. Like you need to actually break up with him. You need to leave him and you start working on yourself. Okay. Narcissists don't care about the truth. They just gas at you. 100%. That's how you know. That's why you have to focus on the truth. Is it common if you have parents who are narcissists that you will seek it, seek the same in a partner? Yes. A lot of times. If you have parents that were narcissistic, the odds are of you either turning out with narcissistic traits or you going to someone who's narcissistic because it feels good. It feels normal. It's very, very common. Okay. Why do I want to stay with them? Uh, you want to stay with them because you're dealing with the trauma one. Okay, because he's abusing you, being manipulative, uh, emotionally abusing and manipulating you, and you still want to be with him, that is normal. Like interacting with a narcissist like that, that is actually normal. Okay. So, what I would suggest is you either click the link in the bio, go to escape toxicity, start the seven day challenge just to like understand. If you're like, hey, I'm new at this, I don't know what's going on. Or if you're like, hey, I know I have a trauma bond, I want to get free, go to claritychallenge.net. Like, start to understand. Okay. Okay, can I get the nar can I can I narcissist get help? Are you saying you're the narcissist or are you asking if you can get a narcissist help? I don't know which way you're actually going with that statement. Okay. Because of you have learned so much. You've helped me move on and focus on me. No, that's awesome. I'm excited about that. It's hundred percent in a trauma bond, but I was still in love at the same time, seven years together. Yeah. You, uh, it goes hand in hand. And what I would say is like it's not really true love because you don't actually know the person. Like you don't actually know who you're interacting with. Like that's a hard thing. Um, we're all stuck until we move on. Mm -hmm. Why do narcissists get married? Uh, a lot of times it's just, it seems like it's the right thing to do. Like, oh, this is what I should do. Will narcissists fight for the kids, even though they say they don't care about them? Yes, because they don't care about them, but they do care about money and they do care about image. So a lot of times it's like, let me fight for the kids so I can pay less. Okay. I can pay less or let me fight for the kids so I can look better. Narcissist image and money. Two biggest things we're talking about kids. I either can do something to pay less or look better. That's really how it, how it boils down. When I realized my mom was a narcissist after realizing my husband was. That's what I'm happy about knowing it wasn't true love. It brings me peace. That's good. I doesn't even ask about the kids. Yeah. And don't reach out. Like if you focus on you, let them exist in like a whole nother world. If you told a toxic person to leave you alone and a year later they text you, ignore or say stop, I would block. I would just block. I wouldn't even, wouldn't even interact with them. Just go ahead and block. Because I hope for a child with one parent isn't narcissistic, but the other is 50-50 custody. Yes, 100%. It's how you show up in the relationship. It's how you actually show and exemplify for your kids how you're handling your emotion, how you're creating an emotionally safe place for them, and how you're leading. Okay? There we go. It's rewritten. Okay, can a narcissist get help? Yeah. There's plenty of therapy. There's plenty of people out there that are willing to talk to one. The problem is the majority of narcissists aren't willing to be honest, not with everybody else, but with themselves. So the majority of times the narcissist actually isn't going to make any changes because they won't be honest about the shit that's inside. Okay. Um, hundred percent. My uh, narcissistic mother of my bonus babies only cares about money and image and control. Yeah. hundred percent. My narcissist asked me to leave. I'm leaving now. She's upset. Uh, it's it's just a ploy. Like just keep leaving. It's okay. Like trust me, it's okay. Like there's a she wants you to leave. Was it she? Sorry, or am I reading it wrong? Uh, she's upset. Yeah, she wants you to leave. Okay, and then now that you're actually leaving, now she can be upset and turn around. So it's like on you. Okay, but it's okay. Like if you already have seen the situation, you know this person toxic. Leave. 
Focus on your growth. Focus on your development. Okay. He told me not to block him and never block him. I play the block game. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm the narcissist, but I think it's more the trauma. Ball. I'm addicted to him and perhaps, uh, and sometimes I block him and unblock. Yeah. No, a lot of times that does happen. Uh, I would focus on like the piece of that is getting to the place of where like you block him and you don't unblock him anymore. You, you focus on your growth. Okay. You focus on your change. My 14 year old son is excruciatingly mean to him, mean to me. How do I know if he's a narcissist or if he's just a typical ADH, uh, ADHD boy? So, um, narcissism technically can't be diagnosed like in young kids until they're like 18 plus, uh, of seeing like a repetitive pattern. Uh, I've actually got a really good friend of mine that's actually working on, uh, I think he's opening it up to like the first like 10, uh, 10 boys that are willing to come through. He's working on a group that's similar to the group that I've been a part of called wake up warrior. But this one is geared towards boys, uh, like 13 to 18. Uh, it's kind of like the range. And mainly what he's doing is he's putting it together to actually say like, Hey, I'm going to help like teach you along with your parents. Like he brings the parents into it. It's really, it's really fascinating how he's working this together. I'm going to work on teaching you and also bringing your parents to be able to create this safe place where you can actually step up and learn how to be a man really cool and he's sharing like hey he's been there and he can connect with the with the kids that are going through okay he's like 24 whatever and he's built out this amazing program that he's actually working on um putting that in uh if you're interested you can shoot me a message uh shoot me a message and i'll, co I'll connect you to him uh ask for separation multiple times and they do not know how to be alone working on me because i know i can't change him 100 percent. and i'm glad you come to that realization you can't change him not at all I have a loan from my ex-husband. Uh, he won't pay. He has apparently bought me birthday presents. Yeah. Uh, make sure, like, just FYI for anybody who's listening, if you have anyone that's toxic, narcissistic in your relationship, please do not lend them money. Do not. Like, you need to have, like, a scripted out, lawyer signed contract if you ever consider lending him money. Just understand this. If you lend a narcissist money, do not expect it to get back. Do not expect to ever get it back. Okay. Why do narcissists hate it when you cry? Uh, because your crying is an inconvenience to them. That's it. That's how they, that's how they perceive it. Uh, is the narcissist really concerned with the kids or just doing, uh, doing what he's doing because he needs a place? Uh, doing what he's doing because he needs a place. Image and money are the two biggest things with the kids. Is it still narcissism if they aren't exactly aware of what they're doing until I point it out? Uh, the, the question would be, like, do they actually change when you point it out? Or is it something of like, oh, I'll fix this, and then they, they don't? Okay. Like, like it, it, it doesn't matter if it's narcissism, if they're not aware and you point it out and they still keep doing the same thing. Like that's not helping. I have left two narcissists and now I've been single for six months. I feel all my energy is depleted. When does this go away? So Kimberly, what I'd say is like right now you might be st like starting to have a habit. Okay. Like this will come in cycle. Okay. And, and until you actually break the cycle, nothing's going to change. Okay. You can either reach out to me, rawmotivations.com. You can click the link in the bio for the seven day challenge. Like you can start going, like we can start walking you through your healing process, but until you decide to start changing, you'll keep going back. Maybe not to one of those, but you keep going back to the toxic person. Typically, I don't even know you, but typically because you don't know who you are. As a result, you're willing to settle and to lower your boundaries for someone who's toxic. Okay.